You're on True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and welcome to another evening officer video with perhaps a little surprise in there, but we will see. But first of all, before I talk about Gala, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. But now let's a look, have a look at, at Gala. And I said a little surprise because she's a common officer. And you know that with many common officers in my videos, I always say I have no use for them anymore because they have no away team traits, etc. We come to that later. But so they are good in the beginning, but then, yeah, forget them. Well, you will probably need Gala a little bit later as well. And why? That will be part of this video. But I already said she's a common officer. She's from the class engineering. That means you need engineering badges to upgrade her. She's from the group Starfleet Academy. So that's the Kelvin timeline officers you know already. And uh, if she's captain, she gets synergy from others from that group or gives synergy to another one who's captain. And from the faction, she's uh, federation. That means you need federation faction credits to upgrade her. If you want to know a little bit more, you can read texts about the officers always in the info box as well. She has a captain's ability, a captain maneuver. That's Parsteel Hunter. Gala increases the Parsteel rewards for defeating a hostile by 25%. So she's not a miner, although it's about Parsteel. She's a Parsteel Hunter. So if you hunt hostiles, they drop uh, Parsteel as rewards in many cases. And she just increases that by a quarter. But the very interesting thing about Gala is her officer ability. And that's critical avoidance. If the opponent is a hostile, Gala decreases the damage from its critical hits by 50%. Until very recently, that was something very important um, that you needed to know to use it, uh, because it was always one of those open secrets floating around. When you start doing Cardassian Armadas, because if you use um, Gala in your crew on, on the bridge there, this will really help you um, get Cardassian Armadas done. When you're doing them first, let, let's say on the newest server, when the people are getting to the levels where they start uh, getting into Cardassian space. It was the same with us when, when they introduced the Cardassians, um, which was fun for us because my alliance uh, was the Cardassian Union. I picked that name because there were no Cardassians in that game <laughs> and suddenly they came. But um, the Cadassian Armadas are different than the FKR Armadas. They are stronger, although they have the same power, for example. They are still stronger because FKR Armadas, depending on your research, and I'm still talking about players in the er earlier stages, um, there's something like when you get a little bit more than half of the uncommon ones, you can do them. That doesn't work when you start doing the Cardassian Armadas. When you start doing the Cardassian Armadas, you have to um, see that you can match their power with the ships that you're taking with you. And as I say, on a new server that's just starting with the Cardassians, that, that is a bit harder. If you have Gaila in your um, Armada crew, so with a standard Armada crew with, with Gaila, for example, added, then it's much easier. She is kind of a secret weapon on, on Cardassian Armadas. And I said she was a little bit of a secret for one purpose there, and that's why you will use her even at later stages than you usually would use a common officer for the Cardassian Armadas. But now, if you don't have Trip Tucker, you might want to think about if you don't have the best um, crews that are out there for hunting silent enemies, Try one of the crews that uh, Scopely is um, suggesting if you already have parts of those but not Tucker and try to use Gala instead of Tucker. That's definitely worth a test because she's doing the same thing. Tucker is doing it um, for two rounds um, against any opponent, so also players, and, and uh, Gala only against hostiles. So I would try that. 
I uh, just realized that in the preparation of the video, I do have Tucker and I'm not even using Tucker because I'm using the Janeway crew against um, silent enemies. But um, it, it's definitely worth a test to try Gaila if you don't have Tucker and if you don't have the Janeway crew yet to do the silent enemies. So that's one of my suggestions uh, that I meant as a little surprise that there is another option you can test for um, the silent enemies if you don't have the good crews that, that uh, people are talking about. So um, that is an option you might want to try. I already said it, as a common officer, she does not have um, a weight team trait, so I'm not using her for anything like that. I'm not using her anymore because I have the better crews where I'm not dependent on Gaila anymore. But as I said, for Cadassian Armadas in your early stages and maybe even for Silent Enemies, she might be uh, an officer that could help you. Um, so give it a try when you are at those stages or are arriving at those stages and don't have the better crews. If you get to the Cadassian Armadas and you have a full Cisco crew, that's better, definitely. But if you don't, if you have uh, just Riker and uh, and uh, Tasha or Worf or something, try to add Gala and, and then have a look what happens at the Cardassian Amadas. It's not even hard to get her. And that's the good news about it, because Gala is already in the standard recruit section. And uh, she's here with the other uh, Starfleet Academy officers. And if you've seen my video, first of all, the tokens are not that hard to get as, as the premium or the ultra ones. Plus, if you've seen that video, um, even if you don't have the tokens, you have a chance of uh, getting those officers here. And so Gala will definitely be one of the officers you will have early in the game. And so at those stages with the Cardassians, definitely, she will be able to help you. So she is quite a nice officer in this game and one for example, that you use later um, than Instructor Spock or whatever. So have a closer look at her. And if one of the experienced players wants to add something about Gala, because uh, there are indeed surprising users for her, even for, for higher levels than, than one would expect with a common officer, then please write it in the comments because it's always interesting um, to, to get uh, even more information to our newer players. And if you have questions in general or video requests, you know I regularly read your comments. If you just want to say hi and where you're from, you know I'm always happy to know where my active viewers are coming from. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen next to the subscribe button. I'll see you there. I'll be back.